Another special week on the fan because we have former Australian captain, Manly great Max Krillich. Hello, Andrew. Welcome. Looking looking pretty fit, I've got to say, because you have had some problems over the past. I've had my issues, um, yeah. about health issues over the years, but I'm, I'm fighting fit, man. Now, I don't know whether I'm the bearer of bad news if I say to you, do you realise it is now 50 years, perhaps a little more, since you first played here at Brookvale? Here? Correct. More than 50 years, Max? Correct, yeah. 1969, I started here in grade, so it's 50 years ago this year, but I was here as a junior a long time before wow. that, you know, all the junior rep sides and all that, so... Yeah, it's uh, still here, still going good, and, you know, that's the way rugby league goes, it just keeps going. The fold-out chair, I get to speak to a, a, a lot of different players of all degrees of, um, of achievement, but I love talking to one club men. And the one club men that I've spoken to, they put it right up there. And for you, one club, your one club was yeah. Manly. Yeah. That's a, that means so much to you? Oh, yeah, it was a great thing. I just wanted to stay at Manly all my life. I got offers to go other places, and um, actually, uh, Ken Arthurson um, was very concerned once when he thought I got a... a um, a, a chance to go to North Sydney, and it was in Oof. the papers. And I, all I did was play golf with Ron Willie, who was a coach in North Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> but how good was that? My wages went up straight. Oh, away. nice stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, OK, well, um, yeah, well, you're, you're staying, boy, you're not going in. Well, I said, I don't know what you're talking about, but yes, yes, my price went up. So you came through in the era when I first fell in love with the game. I'm a little younger than you, Max, but I fell in love during the 70s with the game. Can you share with our viewers, our younger viewers right now, yeah. what a standard week was like for you when you first came into grade football, training, the hours you did? Because you're a, you became a plumber, yeah. full-time plumber. Yeah, That's your job. Had guys working for me, all that sort of stuff for many years. But uh, we used to train. The higher quality of play you were, the more you trained. Remember that. Yeah. If you wanted to play in the Australian sides or the state sides or whatever, you train more than the average bloke. So but a, a normal training session would be Tuesdays and Thursdays yep. at the start, yep. and then go to the pub yep. after every training session. Mandatory. That's three or four schools, nothing wrong with that, and uh, drive home. Um, and then it got to the stage where I'd go and train with either Terry Randall or Bob Fulton on Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays, and do right. a little bit, with, particularly with Fulton, because you know, he was a fitness freak. He was way before his time in those days. Yeah. And Igor was the same, and uh, we'd do a little bit extra. Um, and then, the, then it became then three days training a week, um, three nights, and um, basically it was the same till I finished, yeah. Can I probe here? What was your contract? What money were you on? At the end, I was, uh, at the end I was on about 50 grand. Right. Which wasn't a bad earn because a house was only probably worth 100 grand. Yeah, so it's not a bad earn. So at the start, um, remember, there used to be $2,000 and 200 dollars a win, I think oh, it was. Nice. There was that, yeah, it was what, not worth your while playing. You didn't play for money. You didn't yeah. play for money. It's as simple as that. It, it's very simple. You didn't play for You played rugby league or any sport in those days because you loved to play. Beautiful. I can pull out highlights of Max Grillich. You had a bit of pace, Max. You had a bit of speed. See out here, Brett yeah. Kenny chased me. The famous Brett Kenny too, by the way. Yes. Well, I, I think he's famous. Anyway. He chased me for 70 metres here one day. He didn't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> but I had Bert. Bert yes. dive three times and missed me. A, a little story to that. So I scored under the post yes. and our friend Gibbo. John, John Gibbs, yes. Famous halfback runs up to me and says, throw her, throw her. I'll have the shot of goal because I was kicking that day because Wombat wasn't playing and um, I was doing the goal kicking. I'd already kicked three and, and I got up after about laying on the ground for so long and I said, go away, there's only one hero. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be the hero that day. Oh. the ball, scored a try. Sprinted away from Kenny. Red, Red Kenny, we can't run. He's counting. <laughs> I jump ahead to 78. We told the story last year on The Fan. Manly, six games, 24 days. That's right. Including a grand final replay. Yeah. Remarkable run. It will never, ever be seen again, a run like that. And so much asked of a side well, and succeed. They, made a, they shoot horses, don't they? <laughs> um, yeah, you wouldn't be allowed to do it. It's cruelty against animals making us play six, six games in uh, 24 days. We had a telling factor in that game. Frank Stanton brought along a major general out of the army who was in the Vietnam War and brought his staff sergeant to this oval. And he, we sat in there in the dressing sheds and he spoke to us. He was supposed to be here for 20 minutes and after two and a half hours he walked out. Wow. And we were so enthralled. And then in the grand final replay, he came to us before the game again and spoke to us again. That, that you're only putting your body on your line, you're not going to die. Remember, you're yeah, not going to yeah, die. Yeah, that's putting so, it in the and, right context, and, and yeah, sure. 
I wasn't very easily swayed by people talking certain things as me. I was a footballer, and, but I tell you, I was moved by this guy, and he, he moved everybody, and that's why, that's why I, I, it was a really telling factor. You're part of early days of State of Origin. In fact, you played in the first three-match series under that's the State right. of Origin format um, for New South Wales. Can you believe the beast that it has become, the giant that Origin has become from where it was early 80s? Um, I've got to say, when it was early days, the New South Wales players really didn't get the concept. We didn't care. We only wanted to play for Australia in those days. Right. And if you were good enough, you were in the Australian side. Uh, the Queenslanders wanted to win, and they had, they they really, blokes like Wally and Gino and all those guys, and Fatty, Fatty close, yeah. Choppy, all the terrific blokes and terrific yeah. players and all that, they, they had the concept because they were sick of getting beaten by New South Wales. Um, it took a long time before Turby side won the, uh, the series. Um, I'd say that, New South Wales used to have the wrong end of the pineapple, by the way, that we had to back up two days after a, a, a game on a Sunday and play. We'd usually be in front of half time and get, get run over by Wally and his terrific bunch of players. Yes. That's just life. But it's gone on to be a great, great mm. spectacle for everybody. It's just a, 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 it's a great concept. Now, in the green and gold, this is, you know, I, I feel so fortunate to be able to talk to you about a great time in rugby league. You're part of the first Kangaroo Tour, the Invincibles 1982. Not just a part of it, you are captain yeah. of the first touring squad to go through Great Britain and France unbeaten. That's, that's an extraordinary achievement. The great thing about that side, it was the ruthlessness of the players as well, because they, we had blokes like Steve Rogers again, who were, he was just a great player, Sludge. Yeah. Um, but the ferocity of some of the guys, Les Boyd particularly, and, and some of the Craig Young and the, the, the fearless Rod Reddy. Yep. Uh, I've got to tell you, and then we had Brett Kenny, uh, Peter Sterling, and all yeah. these, uh, Melbourne Inga, all these young... They were young men at 20 the 20-year-old, tw no, no, no one knew how good Eric Groats was going to be, yeah. or Brett Kenny, or, uh, you know, or the Wiz, and, and all these guys were... Um, uh, Pacific Yellow, yeah, for instance, no one knew how good they were going to be. Mm. And all these young superstars appeared. <laughs> and luckily, I was a captain. <laughs> yeah, you got a captain, you got to flip the coin. And <laughs> uh, it was really hard work. One thing we did have, I've got to say, um, Frank Stanton and I spoke about a lot about making sure there was no, um, uh, like, uh, heroes, and, heroes in there. We are all together as a pack. Mm -hmm. There was no kangaroos and well, you know, like the, we were all together as a whole team, so we all supported each other. If you went for a drink, you all drank. Even if you didn't drink, you know, drank like Ray Price didn't drink or you know, Wayne Pierce didn't drink. They'd have a lemonades or whatever. We're all together all the time. Yeah. So there was no divisions. There's no Queenslanders and there's no New South Wales, there's no St George, no Parramatta, no Manly guys, because it was that, that's so it was really, um, we hung in together as a team, which was really good stuff. Well, Max, there's probably so much more I wish I had time to ask on the fan, but um, I mean, just congratulations on everything you achieved in career. Uh, you're, a, you're a manly favourite. I mean, you're, you're worthy of a full house here. Sorry there's no one here at the moment. <laughs> but how about we come back in 10 years' time and I'll be able to ask the question, Max, it's now 60 years since you first played here. Yeah, okay. Well, hopefully we've won a few competitions by then, so you never know what's going to happen. Um, I hope I'm still around another 10 years' time. I, I, lo I love this joint. In fact, my ashes are going to be over there on the ground somewhere. I'll tell my wife, just there put my go. ashes over there on the ground. <laughs> just uh, sprinkle them over there somewhere. Manly great and a great character. Max Krillich on the fan. Thanks for coming Thanks, on. Thanks, Andrew. All the best, mate. <laughs>